Welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. This is our first alternate card using elements from the July 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I've got a basic white card base. I took one of the cards uh, and cut the back off to be five and a quarter by four. And I had saved this piece of vellum from the June Paper Pumpkin Kit. Um, if you've got your countryside corners dies still, they retired, but if you've still got them, you can use those um, because I wanted to mimic the shape of the die cut here. And I've run it through the Fern 3D embossing folder and this will get layered up on top. And I've used the die from the Every, uh, Every Celebration dies to cut out the hooray. And I'm going, I did that in the Melon Mambo and I'm going to put it on a uh, die cut greeting banner from the kit and I put some adhesive backing on it um, So let's just go ahead and start building the card. I Have put my adhesive away And I want this one. There we go So we're just going to add some adhesive to this card and we're going to pop that down as usual, equal distance top, bottom, and side, and when you drop it down, it should just fit perfectly. Um, we're going to just, where this is kind of whitened in the um, vellum here, I'm just going to add just a little bit of adhesive into those spots, just enough to kind of hold it down, but so that it's not hugely visible. So we're going to put that down like that. And it will cover a lot of the front of this card, but I love the detail there. And you can't, because I did the adhesive kind of in the, the whitish spots, you really can't see it showing through. Um, I'm going to dimensionalize this very similar to how we did in the project. We're going to do this and like this and we're going to decorate with the sequins from the kit as well I thought about using other um, uh, gems and things like that we've got the uh, adhesive back transparent gems these ones would go quite nicely but I wanted to use the ones from the kit so we've got that all backing off there and we're just going to put this kind of over to this side kind of equal distance top and bottom and I'll give that a push down like that and then I need to attach this piece so I'm just going to peel the backing off and of course there we go and we're just going to peel that and be very careful that we don't kind of tear any of the letters while we're doing this there we go and we're just going to pop this down on here like this so there we go and we're going to dimensionalize this as well and it's going to go across the bottom just a little bit offset like that so I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on the one end and just some adhesive on the other end where it's going to overlap something that's already dimensionalized so let's do that and then we'll add some sequins and we'll be good to go there's just a little bit of glue still. Whoops, let's bend that right out. There's a little bit of glue still showing there. So I'm just going to kind of move it around a little bit and get rid of it. Okay, so let's get our sequins. And our take, well, we can do this with our fingers. We don't need the take your pick tool for this one. So we're just going to pop some sequins in, just add a little bit of bling around the place, just like that. So there we go. There's our first alternate card using elements from the July 2024 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more alternate cards.